Wabi preaches about what it means to be a woman Terry Mangley. Hollywood worshipped big movie franchises, so fans can expect Barbie sequels. One plot proposal quickly emerged from an unlikely source. Sister Mary Joseph Kalora of the Society, devoted to the Sacred Heart of Jesus in Street Crescent, Pennsylvania. Barbie Becomes a Nun would be a great sequel, she wrote on the X platform. Her post contained this pitch to Warner Bros. executives. Dissatisfied by endless parties and user friends, an eating disorder, spending addictions with clothes and shoes, and cohabitating with the shallow and unemployed playboy Ken, Barbie's sports car has been parked more and more at an adoration chapel. She is seriously giving thought to draining the pool, putting her condo on the market, cutting her hair and donning the religious habit. That would be a twist after a cinematic manifesto, arguing that life as a real woman is painful and complicated, but it's better than being an iconic plastic doll. This movie should have been silly and fun, but it ended up being preachy and earnest, said Barbara Nicolosa Harrington, a former Catholic nun who became a screenwriter and Hollywood script doctor. I mean, how far can you go with a story about Barbie? Writer-director Greta Gerwig's previous work has been impressive, stressed Harrington, who teaches at Regent University in Virginia Beach, Virginia. With Little Women, Gerwig showed the ability to offer a fresh take on a familiar story. Now, Barbie will draw intense scrutiny, since she will direct at least one movie in the upcoming Netflix take on, the Chronicles of Narnia novels by the Christian apologist C.S. Lewis. Barbie contains ambitious attempts to mix serious, even if tongue-in-cheek, social commentary with pop culture mythology, such as a shot-for-shot -shot homage to Stanley Kubrick's legendary Dawn of Consciousness scene in 2001, A Space Odyssey. The big Barbie question, noted other feminism's writer Leah Labresco Sargent, is stated in a soundtrack ballad, What Was I Made For? The key is that Barbie praises the pursuit of meaning, while any discovery of meaning is excluded, noted Sargent, a popular atheist blogger who converted to Catholicism in 2012. Ultimately, Barbie receives her own benediction from the film's higher power, the ghost of Ruth Handler, the real-life creator of the doll. Barbie wants to be her own storyteller, rather than a conduit through whom stories are told. She looks to Handler for permission to become human, but Hambler disclaims any authority over her creation. Barbie can decide who to be alone without anyone else's input, wrote Sargent for the dispatch. Although the film includes a highly symbolic contact between Barbie and Handler, which Joey based on Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam, Sargent said it's clear her creator is one more person stepping back to avoid being a barrier to the pursuit of the self. Then again, that Barbie scene can be interpreted as a positive theological statement about what it means to be human, argued Bridget McCabe and Laura Oldfather, writing for the progressive Jesuit magazine America. As Barbie faces her fear of leaving dollhood behind, her creator takes her hands and tells her to feel. This leads into a montage of young girls and grown women laughing, talking, playing and enjoying their lives. When Barbie opens her eyes again, she has tears on her face, wrote McCabe and Oldfather. This felt very reminiscent of Street Ignatius Loyola's contemplation of the Incarnation, which asks believers making a Jesuit retreat to imagine the three divine persons gazing down on the earth full of people. These scenes of so many different people and emotions flash before Barbie, and she is overwhelmed with the joys and sufferings of the world, with women at the forefront. One thing is clear, said Harrington, Joey didn't want to make what Hollywood pros often call a stupid good movie that is merely clever, creative, and entertaining. She wanted to critique toxic masculinity, gender, motherhood, and the marketing of pricey princess dreams. I don't think anyone wants to live in the Barbie world that's shown in this movie, she said, but no one wants to see a Barbie movie about the challenges of being a real woman either. The vehicle that is this movie cannot support a weighty subject like that. This is a movie about a doll. Think about that.